guys, it's me Jessie and welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make a dress for my birthday. Because it's my birthday dress, so I want it to be girly with a little princess vibe. So I won't feel that I'm getting older. But I didn't have much time to make this dress, so I chose to go with a pretty simple design but by using a beautiful floral printing silk fabric so my dress turned out pretty well that's why I hope you guys will like it and drag it out and let's get started the first step is making the pattern for the dress to make the front bodice pattern I draw a straight line cutting the edge horizontal line first from the first straight line I draw another one at 20 cm next to it it's a quarter of my bust side and it will be the bust line of the front bodice From the first straight line, I keep drawing another line at 35cm next to it. It's the length from the shoulder to under my bread, and it will be the ending line of the front bodice. From the cutting point between the first straight line and the edge horizontal line, I mark up 16cm, which is the half of the inside shoulder side. Then drawing a perpendicular line from it. The width of this line will be 2.7cm, which is 1 by 10 the inside shoulder side minus a half centimeter. From the mark on the straight line, I mark down 5 cm, which is the width of the shoulder strap of the bladder that I want. Then connect this mark to the end of the perpendicular line that I made before to create a shoulder line for the front bladder. From the cutting point between the first straight line and the edge horizontal line, I mark at 22 cm on the edge horizontal line. It's the deep of the front neck that I want. Then connect that mark to the top of the shoulder line to create the neckline for the front bodice. From the cutting point between the second straight line and the edge horizontal line, I mark up 22 cm, which is a quarter of my bust side plus one cm. After that, I continue the perpendicular line at the shoulder to cut the bust line at one point. From that cutting point, I mark to the inside 2.5 cm before connecting it to the end of the shoulder line. I mark in the middle of the new slanted line after that. Then I draw a curve line go to the mark on the burst line to this mark and finish at the end of the shoulder line to create the sleeve line for the front bodice. From the cutting point between the third straight line and the edge horizontal line, I mark up 21 cm, which is 1 cm shorter than the mark on the burst line. Then connect this mark to the end of the sleeve line to create a side line for the front bodice. Adding 1 cm for seam allowance after that, and we will have the front bodice pattern after cutting. You will need to cut this pattern in full fabric at the edge horizontal line. Moving to the back bodice pattern. I use the same way to create the shoulder line in the neckline.
from the end of the burst line I marked up 20 cm, which is a quarter of my burst side minus 1 cm. Then continue the perpendicular line from the shoulder to cut the burst line one point. From this cutting point, I marked to the inside one and a half centimeter before connecting it to the end of the shoulder line. After that, I mark in the middle of the new slanted line. Then I draw a curved line go through the mark on the burst line to this mark and finish at the end of the shoulder line to create the slee line for the back bodice. From the end of the ending line, I mark up 19cm, which is 1cm shorter than the mark on the burst line that I made before. Then connect that mark to the end of the slee line to create the side line of the back bodice. From this mark, I marked down on the ending line 18cm, which is a quarter of my under burst side. Then connect that mark to the end of the neckline to create the middle line at the back bodice. Add in 1cm for seam allowing after that, except 2cm for the middle line. And we will have the back bodice pattern after cutting. You will need to cut two pieces of this pattern in the opposite way. For the skirt part, I make three teeth for the outside skirt pattern, which is the length from above my belly button to my ankle. For the lining skirt pattern, I make it in the half circle way with 2cm shorter than the length at the outside part. Now let's start sewing this thread. I use three and a half meter of silk fabric in the beautiful floral printing for the main fabric, and three meter of silk cotton fabric for the lining part. I started making the bodice part first. After cutting the front and the back bodice, I connect them together at the shoulder lines. Doing the same for the main fabric and the lining fabric. After sewing, I connect them together at the neckline and the sleeve lines. Before turning them inside out, I make a few small cuts at the curved part and a cut at the v-neck. Don't forget to use the iron after that to keep them stay together. Then I connect the side line together in sewing. At the end of the front bodice part, I make the loose seam foot, then I create the gathering fabric there later. Make sure the gathering fabric will be at the breast area, and the final width of the front bodice will be a quarter of the under bust side and doing it separately between the main fabric and the lining fabric. Check the final width at the end of the bodice part from the back to the front to make sure it will be the under burst side plus 4 cm for seam allowance. I cut two rectangles with the same width and 8 cm length, which is the length of the waistband that I want, plus 2 cm for seam allowance. I connect one grid line of the rectangle to the end of the bodice foot. Remember to connect the main fabric and the lining fabric separately. Moving to the skirt part, 
at the first tier and make the lose team at one with life first, then I create the gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same as the width at the end of the bodice part, so we can connect them together later. At the second tier, I make the loose seam first, then I create the gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same as the width at the first tier, so we can connect them together later. At the third tier, I make the loose seam first, then I create the gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same as the width at the second tier, so we can connect them together later. After all, I just need to connect three tiers together. And here's the lining of the skirt part and after cutting. Now, I'm connecting the bodice and the skirt together. Make sure to connect them separately between the main fabric and the lining fabric. At the middle of the back, I give a 30 cm invisible zipper to connect them together. I connect the zipper to the main fabric first, then I connect it to the lining fabric later. So after sewing, you can turn the lining inside out to hide on the seam. It will make the dress look clean inside. After that, I finish the rest of the back dress under the zipper. Remember to finish them separately between the main fabric and the lining fabric. I cut too long the tango with 16cm width and around 80cm length to create a tie at the shoulder to make the dress look cuter. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is the cute and girly dress. The floral printing combined with the steel fabric made it so dreamy. It's just what I wanted. Hope you guys will like it and try it out soon. See you next week.